In this video, we will be studying about the strategies which are being adopted and which we should adopt to attain the sustainable development. See, sustainable development does not mean the process of economic growth. It means that you are utilizing the resources in such a manner and in such a pace that these resources are also available for the future generation. So the strategies which we should follow for the sustainable development are number one, input efficient technology. Which means that we should utilize the inputs in the industries to the fuller utilization. We should not keep the waste the inputs. So such production technologies which are input efficient, we should adopt those production strategies. Use of environment friendly sources of energy see we are using coal which generates ash we are using petrol in the vehicles which generate pollution so, but so we should what we should do we should use environment friendly sources of energy like now we have shifted from petrol vehicles to the cleaner fuels like lpg and cng these cng and lpg do not emit the harmful gases in the air which pollutes the environment and then what we are encouraging we are encouraging the use of cow dung as the uh, manure and gobel gas plants may be developed as a source of domestic fuel so they, this is what we are focusing on these days to use a environment friendly source of energy third is your integrated Rural development See the migration of people from rural, uh, rural areas to the urban areas have increased the pressure on the urban, urban areas Due to which there is more pollution and more uh, you know problems in the urban areas than the rural areas So we should check a rural urban migration continuously we should focus on the rural development more so that the rural uh, people need not to get migrated to the urban areas for the livelihood wherein they can get the earnings from the rural area itself. Fourth is your convert sunlight into solar energy. and solar energy into electricity now what we are doing do you go to the uh, playgrounds gardens so the lights there are basically the solar lights so these lights uh, convert the sunlight into the solar energy and then the solar energy is converted into electricity we can see the solar panels in which the sunlight is converted into electricity so this is again an environment friendly because sunlight is non-exhaustible source you can use the sunlight in order to form a, uh, many tons of electricity All right fifth is Shift to organic farming. We should shift from the chemical farming to organic farming where the fertility of soil is restored. Use of the uh, you know uh, manures, uh, domestic manures like the cow dung etc. In order to have the healthy produce and in order to improve the fertility of soil. Manage the waste. So, rather than allowing the industrial waste and household uh, garbage, 
to litter around or merge into the streams or rivers we should systematically manage them we should process them and use them further stringent laws on the disposal of chemical effluents see if the industries are largely emitting the chemicals from itself then into the rivers or air or water in that case the strict stringent laws or the harsh laws or the strict laws should be made for the industries so that they should not emit the uh, and pollute the environment public means of transport rather than using the personal means of transport one should use the public means of transport like we can say delhi metros or your dtc buses so there will be less pollution in the cities because less uh, vehicles will run on the road moreover it will reduce the problem of the traffic jams noise pollution so if we use public transport it will help a lot to improve our environment and helps to grow sustainably so i hope you have understood these strategies do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us